Rossi, Henry, thanks for joining us. We just witnessed a fantastic victory for yourselves and for the team 1-0 at Yeovil. Rossi, firstly, your thoughts on the ideal start? Yes, yeah, certainly is. Clean sheet away from home, three points. Um, myself and Emery, like the whole team in there is absolutely buzzing at the moment. Um, every single player that travelled today, every single member of staff, they're in, they're in really good place. Really good place. You certainly had a good share of the game, I think it's fair to say. In the second half, they put a lot of pressure on, as you'd expect, but did it kind of pan out as the game plan had expected, Henry? Yeah. <coughs> We knew, you know, I said they've been on a great run of form as well, so we weren't expecting to be able to come here. And, you know, we've had a very, very good first half, but we weren't expecting that to necessarily continue throughout the whole game. They were going to have a spell where a sustained, sustained spell in the second half. So you could say that we rode our luck at times, but there's 11 players on the pitch, and you have to beat all 11 players to score, to score a goal. And it's, you know, the back four and the two central midfielders in front of them, and Jamie Stevens in goal, with the, the defensive work that they put in in the second half is absolutely outstanding. And we've had one or two chances in the second half as well. John's obviously gone, 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 for, gone for it on goal. And, you know, another day that goes in, and we, and we win the game 2 0. So it's, it, you know, you, both teams are going to have spells in the game. They obviously had a decent spell in the second half when they're at, but they're at home, so it was expected, and we soaked up the pressure well. And we hit them on the counter and we got the winner. Talk to us about the mood and the dressing room. The players must be absolutely thrilled, Rossi. Yeah, they are. They are. It's a really good vibe in there. It's been a good vibe for a while now. Um, they're, they're just delighted. You know, we're, we're delighted. There's been a lot of hard work put in the last eight or nine days um, from the staff and players. Um, everyone's been so, so, so helpful at the football club. Um, really putting the time. And, uh, you know, to come to Yeovil, such a run they're on, to go back with three points is, is a huge thank you to them. Two of the young players in particular, I think it's fair to say, stood out. Jack Taylor making his league debut at right back was superb and Efron again on his second league start led the line very well with John how pleased were you with their input today Henry? Delighted <clears throat> uh, absolutely delighted it uh, makes a big step always going from training in and around the first team and looking good in training but then actually when you come in away to a team like Yeovil on the form that they're on all right, wet day all right, where they're getting at you and you're under the cosh and you've got players there really really not only just standing up all right, to the battle ahead of them but also being outstanding performers during that as well Jack playing at right back, having to do a job, a job for us there at right back with the, the number of injuries that we got was absolutely outstanding. Efron playing just off John, as, um, off John at centre forward as well, knows the position well and there was one or two times in the first half where we thought you know, he, he, might have, he might have been able to get on the score sheet. But they're two players that we think have got a bright, bright future and are capable of a minimum playing League 2 football, and, but they're not going to as well. And there are other players coming up in the wings. And, Hopefully, as time goes on at this time, at this football club, they will start to get their opportunity as well. And the winner from Alex Nichols, fantastically taken, well created goal, but the, subs, the first substitute that you've made together, and it, it works brilliantly. How pleased are you with that? Oh, that's the irony, irony of football. Um, Alex has been tremendous in training all week. Um, came in on Monday and did extra as well. Um, and this is just rewards. You know, he's a fantastic person, a really good player, and uh, I'm really, really pleased with him. I think finally it would be remiss of us not to talk about the role of Jamie Stevens on the occasions that they got in. He made some, came up with some fantastic saves, Henry. Yeah, exactly. And <clears throat> I, say, I mentioned beforehand that people would say that we rode our luck, but we've got Jamie Stevens in goal, who's a top, top goalkeeper, and they've got a beat him. We didn't beat him, obviously, today, and that's the credit to, credit to him. He made two or three fantastic saves. I know he's been ribbing you a little bit tough for missing one of the saves on Twitter, but for anybody watching who wasn't at the game, the one it hit the bar, about the 70th minute, Jamie did tip it onto it. It was one of the best saves I've seen in a long time. So uh, make sure that everyone knows you should be getting credit for that one as well. Um, but yeah, he was outstanding. I must say as well, with uh, the travelling fans of Travel State, yeah. uh, huge voice. From hearing him on the bench, the way they sat today, absolutely top draw. Um, and I know they'll be next week at the Hive, making it a, a place to buzz. Yeah. And that's what we like to urge, really. Everybody come next week. Derby at home to Stevenage. All right, everyone buzzing. Everyone's buzzing in the change room. All we're thinking about now is next Saturday. So fans come, watch us, sing, support the team like I always do, and cheer us on. Hopefully, have a good result. Brilliant. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Cheers, Tom.